Hey guys, this is kind of a weird vlog. I can barely even talk right now. I apologize for being uh, for being out of it um, on all the socials the last few days. I've been really sick, so I felt like uh, I owe you guys an update to kind of let you know what's going on and let you know what happened, because went too hard man fish too hard so if you saw saturday's video that was like the last day where i was feeling okay um those when me and lunkers just went out and crushed it um we caught a lot of big bass and he caught a really big one on the live stream that was the moment basically where i started to get sick i'm wearing sunglasses right now in the morning just because any kind of light even this airplane sounds like cancer in my ears right now. It's coming over. I'm gonna sit down. But really, this this whole week's just been kind of crazy. I started out going to Lake Geneva, which I'll give you guys uh, an update on that soon. MTB wanted me to uh, release my video um, at the same time they did. So they're working on it right now. I'm working on mine. Should have it this week. It was a lot of fun though. Waking up super early, um, probably eating too many cheese curds, too many spotted cow beers, getting up fishing the tournament, and then my flight gets delayed coming back, and I don't get into Dallas Fort Worth like the wee hours of the morning after midnight, basically. Right into shooting Outlaws music video, which comes out this week, and that was really tough because um, me and Rob were getting up really early. We were going out trying to catch the fish for the music video uh, then of course filming yep. all day basically going straight off two days of that going into uh, a product testing day where um, the favorite crew they wanted to do a product testing day with me and Rob so we roll straight into that it's a great day but we just went hard no sleep so like three or four days in a row very little sleep like three to four hours I'm assuming what has developed is a severe migraine. I I haven't had one of these since I was a kid. It's some of the most excruciating pain, like sustained pain you can imagine. It feels like my brain is trying to crawl out of my left eyeball. Like that's, that's what it feels like. And um... It's just not going away. I went to the uh, the hospital or the emergency clinic. They uh, they gave me two shots, one in each butt cheek, like some big ass shots. I felt good yesterday, and I actually uh, I cranked out an edit for you guys, and I thought it was gonna go away, and then um, and then once the whatever they shot in me uh, wore off, it's back to normal. Like I can hardly sleep. It's kind of a conundrum because I can hardly sleep. I need to sleep. Um, and they gave me some pills, some sort of pills. I'm not taking these things. I just feel like I'm gonna die. This is tramadol. So, so now I don't know what's really wrong. Might might end up going to the hospital later today. I think I was drinking water okay, but I probably should have drank more. You gotta drink a lot of water when you're out there in the in the elements, especially when you're fishing. You're actually burning a lot of calories. And just that lack of sleep, man. I'm a big proponent of balance. Like, I like to have balance um, in everything that I do, really. Like, faith, family, physical condition, and, you know, also work. You got you to gotta have the balance of everything. And this week, I just, I just got off balance. And I hadn't prepared my body for that type of condition. So I'll give you guys an update here in a little while. See what's going on. Hopefully... This thing goes away. I'm at like the, th the three day period where it should be going away, but if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to go in to the dock, see what's really going on. It's been rough. It's been a rough go, man. Just f <laughs> fish too hard. Yeah. Goodbye, fat boy. Goodbye. There's been a new development in the day. My beautiful wife. Has come to join me. I've come to join you in your your ailments. Did you feel bad for me? I feel real bad. I was home alone. 
Well, my husband was up here sick by himself. Yeah, I was supposed to be back home like two days ago. And, uh, four days ago. Like four, I have I've lost track of time, really. I'm going to Whole Foods, because that's, that's where Stephanie goes. She needs to pick me up. Wish these sunglasses were about ten times dimmer right now. Tell the fishing freaks a story, since I'm so I'm so weak right now. I can't be energized. Oh, me tell the fishing freaks a story. Yeah, you need to pick up the energy since I'm not. I feel like I can't. Pick the up yin and the yang. I've never seen you like this. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen me like this. I always try to stay like really positive in the videos. You know this, guys. I'm just being real with you today. This is one of those suckage times. I need a healing soup. I need you to help me. This is your arena. This is what you were born to do. Let's go get you some good food. It's your destiny. To help LFG in his life struggles. Using your food tactics. It's vinegary, it's um, acidy, so you don't you want to avoid that. Okay. Stephanie has picked out the garden veggie for me. Is that what's going to do it? That's what's going to do it. I can always get you more soup too, so I can eat more. Cornbread soups. Everything. <laughs> Weird stuff. I don't know. Blueberries and potatoes. What in the world? <laughs> What in the world are you thinking? My wife's crazy. Oh, you're crazy. I'm delirious. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I feel a little bit better. Stephanie has nooched me, and uh, I got some green stuff. I think the lady in there thought I was making a documentary for Netflix or something. <laughs> I think she did. She was getting kind of mad. She came up to me. She was like, what are you doing? like I just want some tasty treats to make me healthy lady so let me get on with my new Trish we're heading back now my goal for today fishing freaks is to get better by the end of this video and number two is to take a poop I haven't pooped in days this is a serious issue it's but weird when your wife's a dietitian <laughs> we talked about poop I'm pretty regular but this is irregular just one thing that'll cheer you up it's a little white bulldog a little marshmallow. Did you go comfort dad? A little marshmallow, man. Did you go comfort dad? You don't want to come near me? Are you scared of me? I mean, she rubbed my head. <laughs> Instead of me rubbing your head. It doesn't seem very fair. Given the circumstances. If you brought my nap partner. I brought your nap partner. There's nothing better than taking a nap with a bulldog. Winston has healing powers that can't be explained. Okay, we're gonna take a nap with Winnie Pooh. And hopefully when I wake up, this will all be gone. Here's the update. Um, the nap didn't work. Winston's magical powers did not heal me. The girls have decided that it's time for me to go to the ER. Watch 
watch these bumps, Mom. It's either the worst migraine ever recorded, or it's like I got a weird bug in my brain or something. I don't know. We're gonna go find out. Mom, can you can you give your diagnosis again? Your theory? Just one theory. <laughs> No. She's not gonna say it. She just told me, she said, make sure when you go in there to tell them that a bass bit you on the nose. <laughs> I know, doesn't that sound so silly? It does. It sounds ridiculous. But, you know, you gotta tell them you've been out in that lake water. I don't gotta tell know. them what bacteria you've got. You did have some big teeth. the worst part about this missing Game of Thrones missed the last two episodes That's why when I called him today, yeah. I said, you know, are you capable of doing more than what you did? Yeah. And the guy said, he said that. Yeah. Do I, um, I need to get some shots for like. We'll worry like about tennis. that later. No, I don't mean tonight. I just mean this um, is a good place to do. No. No. They wouldn't, he would not order you one. Okay. You mind if we visit about your results with everybody here? Let's get you. Good morning fishing freaks feeling a whole lot better today I don't really know where to go right here guys um, normally I'd be sitting here with a cup of coffee talking to you about um, just getting off the water or maybe getting ready to go fishing enjoying the sunrise and um, I, I've got a, I've got a different perspective right now so last night found out I have a brain tumor now they say that it is benign um, it's got some calcium buildup around it so it's been there a while um, but that has been what's causing all this excruciating pain in my head So we left the emergency room late last night um, and just everything's kind of up in the air right now. Need to need to reach out to um, neurosurgeons and uh, you know this the whole insurance thing guys I just I don't wish this on any of you this is so terrible you know what I thought was just a, a migraine headache um, turned into something worse and I, I gotta thank my wife Stephanie you know her as Ocean Spoon Girl and my mom my family they basically just pushed me to go in to the doctor because I didn't want to go and um, and they they caught this thing so um, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen now guys I don't I don't know well, I don't know what tr treatment's gonna be. I mean, um, we're talking about brain surgery here. 
uh, possibly chemo to remove this thing and um, obviously that's gonna that's gonna be life-changing um, I've <laughs> I mean, you know I'm so, I'm so blessed guys I'm so blessed to be able to just get up and and go fishing and enjoy what I do and you know make a little money at it and and um, you know life can just flip on a dime things can change so um, I, I just I just wanted to give you guys this update and and let you know and I don't know where I'm gonna be as far as like brain capacity after you know if I'm going for surgery today tomorrow whatever um, everything's in limbo I have all these fishing trips planned obviously I, I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna go on them I don't know if I'm gonna be okay I don't know if I'm gonna be a vegetable uh, after this thing I really have no idea um, so the only thing I ask for, from you guys is your prayers and just man just just take 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 life at a, at a positive point of view and enjoy every minute of it man because when something like this hits you you're totally not expecting it um, it, it sucks it's like just getting sucker punched and uh, it'll it'll change your perspective on things so um, I also want to thank you guys for helping me get to 300,000 subs now. That's a, on a positive note, 300,000 of you. So um, hopefully a lot of you are watching this video right now. And hopefully uh, we'll get we'll get some good response. You know, hit me up with some good comments. I need as much positivity in my life as I can right now. I love you guys. I will keep you updated on everything that's happening. Um, Ocean Spoon Girl and Winston are fine. Um, I didn't want to have them on camera for this because it's kind of an emotional thing for them right now. So I'll give you guys updates when I know. See ya.